What's up everybody, it's your boy Z-Man here bring you part 24 of our let's play of Pokemon Fire Red. In the last part I said we had the Poke Flute, we were gonna go take on a Snorlax, and I was right, just not the Snorlax I showed you at the end of the last episode. Uh, but before we go take on that Snorlax, we've actually got a little bit more to do. Uh, there is one item that we need to grab. Cut down this tree. Well, actually, really quickly, we're out here on Route 16, in case you didn't know. Uh, Pokemon that you can find out here are Rattata 30% of the time, Spearow 30% of the time, Raticate 5% of the time, and a new Pokemon, actually, Doduo, uh, which evolves into Dodrio. It's the flightless bird Pokemon that can still learn to move fly, for whatever reason. Um, you can actually catch Doduo here. It's not a, if you don't have a flying type Pokemon, I do suggest picking Doduo up. It's a nice Pokemon to have. So I'm not gonna fight them because they're stupid. If I can sneak past here, what's up, old man? How you doing? How'd you get in? Good effort. Thank you very much. All right. Continuing along here, Route 16. Um, there's really nothing back here. The only thing I'm going for. <clears throat> is right here in this house with this um honestly this thing looks like a rufflet but it's actually a Firo for whatever reason but this little girl little girl talk to me oh dear you found my secret retreat please don't tell anyone i'm he please don't tell anyone i'm here i'll make it up to you with this and we get hmo2 which is actually the uh hm fly a very 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 helpful move uh, not a terrible flying type move in battle but it is possibly everyone's favorite uh, HM batter surf for the simple reason that it allows you movement very easily I'm going to open up HM02 and teach Sue this move right away what do I want to forget um, I'm thinking fury attack I'm gonna get rid of fury attack one, two, and poof. We got forget Fury Attack and learn the move Fly. Man, now I can fly anywhere. I love it. All right. Now that that's done, we have no more business out here on route. Well, actually, we have one more little nugget of business out here on Route 16, and it comes in the form of a fat sleeping Pokemon. Misty Beater, cut down my tree. Let's do it. Ready? You ready for this? Here we go. Do I want to use the Poke Flute? Oh yes, I do. So we play the Poke Flute, and this Snorlax actually uh, wakes up and attacks us after we're actually done playing the Poke Flute. Snorlax wakes up and it attacks us. Now this is Snor Snorlax. It knows. It obviously knows four moves. It's level 30. The moves it knows are Rest, Snore, Headbutt, and. Rest, Snore, Headbutt, and for whatever reason I can't think of the fourth one. Oh, Yawn, that's right. Uh, we're going to be seeing Yawn, believe me. Now, Snorlax is a very bulky Pokemon, as you can tell right now. Um, very offensive and surprisingly special defensive based. Not defensive based, special defensive based. So if you're going to attack this thing, I suggest you use an attacking type Pokemon. Uh, he used Yawn, so I'm going to go ahead and switch out and let Shazam take over here really quick. He also knows the move Rest. Along with Rest, stop using Yawn, you stupid Snorlax. Along with Rest, he also holds a Chesto Berry, so the first time he uses Rest, um, he's going to eat a Chesto Berry and automatically wake himself up. The great thing with Yawn is, Yawn is a move that uh, forces the Pokemon- Stop using Yawn! Jeez. Yawn is a move that forces the Pokemon on the next turn to fall asleep, so when you see me switching out Pokemon, that's me making sure my Pokemon doesn't fall asleep, because I really do not want my Pokemon to fall asleep. Right there he tried to use Snore. Snore is actually not any good at all, really. Psybeam shouldn't do too much, he's going to use Rest. Alright. Here's the tough part. He does know the move Snore. Oh wait, he does have a Chesto Berry. I forgot about. I forget about the Chesto Berry. I'm sorry. But yeah, Rest automatically revives all of your strength. All of it. Please don't use Yawn. Okay, try to use Snore. 
Snore can only be used when you're asleep, so whenever I use Rest, um, I'm gonna keep Snore and Rest on there at the same time with my Snorlax, just so I have a move to use while I'm asleep. It'd be really nice if Shazam knew Dream Eater, because that would help me oh so much. Holy cow, that did a lot of damage. That would help me oh so much when it comes to uh, attacking this thing when it's asleep. He used Yawn. Perfect. Look at this. I've got him down to that much HP. Here's the problem. Snorlax is damn hard to catch. It only has a catch rate of 25, which basically means if it's full health and you're using a Pokeball, you've only got a 3.3% chance. However, I've got it down to um, under a third health, so that should increase my chances by three times. Plus, no, you stupid Snorlax, and he used rest. Oh, I was so close. My chances weren't good, but I was so close. But yeah, I used a Great Ball, and now Shazam's asleep. Perfect! Alright, let's go ahead and switch out. Sue's gonna have to take this thing down. Crap. This thing's gonna be smart enough to use Snore now, isn't it? Dang it! Sue's done. Almost done. Aerial Ace! Please don't use Snore, Snorlax. Don't use Snore, don't use Snore, don't use Snore, I swear. Perfect, okay. Uh, I'm going to go into the bag. I know he's going to wake up here soon, so I'm going to go ahead and make sure I heal. I want to I want to I want to use it. Oh, not repel. I want super potion. Do I have a super potion? It does not look like it. I got a hyper potion. There's my super potion. It's all right. Uh, super potion won't do enough. Hyper potion. Hyper potion for my Sue. All right, restore all of our HP. I knew Snorlax was about to wake up, so I didn't want to, you know, didn't, I wanted to make sure Sue was ready to go. Aerial Ace it. There we go. Half damage. Snore, no, Snore doesn't work, dude. Only when you're asleep, you sleep with Snorlax. Get him down a little bit farther. Yawn, you freaking Snorlax thing. Alright, Sue's drowsy. He's gonna use rest on the next move. I can either switch out and let him use rest, or I can try to. I'm gonna try to catch him right now. This is probably a horrible, horrible idea. This thing's gonna take me forever to catch, just cause of freaking rest. Catch, not even close. Yeah, I didn't think that would work. There's that rest. Wouldn't it be great if rest could miss? But no, we're not that cool. All right, Sue's gonna fall asleep. I need to head into my bag and grab myself an awakening. Um, if I were to use the poker flute right here, I would actually be able to uh, wake up Sue, but I would also wake up Snorlax at the same time, which is why I don't want to. I do want to show off what the poker flute can do in battle, but I don't really want to do it now. Don't use Snore. Don't use Snore. Perfect. This thing doesn't use Snore very much. I'm very happy about that. He woke up. All right. Yawn. God. Damn it, you Snorlax, I swear! He's probably gonna use rest on his next move. I'm gonna switch out Pokemon. I'm gonna let Bolt take over. For the time being. Bolt literally cannot do anything to this Pokemon, I swear. Yeah. Thunderbolt it. <clears throat> if I can get him down low enough and Thunder Wave him. But that's the thing, rest also cures uh, paralysis as well. That pisses me off. Alright, Thunder Wave. Don't use Rest. Please don't use Rest in life. Please don't use Rest. Please don't use Rest. Please don't use Rest. Yes, it's paralyzed. It can't move. Perfect. Alright, bag. Paralysis gives me a times two uh, advantage. I believe it's a times two advantage, but a times two something uh, with my catch rate plus Great Ball 1.5 times plus he's down below 33%. So, no, not even close. I didn't even shake once. Yeah. I had so much hope. I had so much hope. Damn you, Snorlax. Alright, let's switch. Sue, you're in again. God damn, this Snorlax is gonna piss me off. See, sleep isn't actually a terrible time to try to catch him. It's just that you can't get him down low enough. I can't get him down low enough in order to get in order to catch him. It'd be very nice if I had a fighting type. Move, yes, critical hit. That's perfect. Don't wake up. Damn it, he woke up. And he's gonna take out Sue. Alright. At least he's down to that much health. I'm gonna send in Bolt. Why? I don't know. 
I'm probably not even going to catch this thing. Great Ball, come on. I need you. I was really hoping he wouldn't wake up on that turn. Not even, I'm not going to catch him here. I'm not going to catch him here. I caught him! Yes! Oh, God, I didn't think I was going to catch him in time. Yes! Snorlax, you are mine. You're fat. Of course I want to give Snorlax a nickname. Oh, man. This thing, that thing, look at that. He's so fat. Thus, he shall be named Albert. Albert the Snorlax. Finally! God dang it, that was tough. Alright. I'm gonna show off Fly now. Why? Because I'm happy. Fly there. Is there any reason for me to fly there? No, there's not. I don't care. I just wanna freaking... God, that was... That was good. Alright, I'm gonna heal my Pokemon and be right back. Alright, so we got ourselves a Snorlax. Pokemon number 5 for the team. I know it's not an exciting team yet. But don't worry, it's a good team. Alright, let's head in here. Now, I went and I grabbed the T from that old lady, which apparently I didn't have for some reason. But, um, if you have the T from that old lady, this guard will let you through. He'll just take the take the T, uh, drink it, and then he'll also let us go on to Saffron City. He's like, he no longer says the road is closed. Finally able to go on to Saffron City, and actually my next Pokemon is in Saffron City, and with that you know what my next Pokemon is. Now there is not a lot I can do here in Saffron City, but first off, let's go ahead and head in here to Mr. Psychic's house. He has a team I would like. Wait, don't say a word. You wanted this. We get TM29. TM29 holds the move Psychic, which you will explain first now. You already know, don't you? TM29 is Psychic. It's an attack that may also lower the target's special stats. Yeah, very, very, very nice, dude. Thank you. But Psychic is the... one of the best... Actually, I believe it is the best in this generation. Um... Psychic type move to have. So I'm gonna go ahead and where are you, Psychic? Where are you, Psychic? Oh, it's TM29. There's Psychic. I'm gonna use that, and you already know who's gonna learn it. Shazam! Unbelievable! Look at that! No, look right now, Snorlax. Look at Snorlax. Look at the symbol. I got a female. You literally only have like a 15% chance of finding a female Snorlax, and I found one. Again, I'm... I'm not even trying to do this, I swear. This is the first time I recorded my Snorlax battle. This is... Oh my goodness, this is ridiculous. Alright, that's crazy. Um, I'm going to get rid of the move... What do I want to get rid of? I'll get rid of Psybeam, I guess. Don't want to have too many psychic type moves. I already got Future Sight for a really strong Pokemon, and I also got Psybeam. That'll work. On, I can't believe it. I'm pretty sure there's only like a 15% chance of finding a female Snorlax. 15%. How does that even work? Damn. All right, what's in here? Pokemon Trainer Fan Club trainers. I want to see if there's anything in here for me to do. What do you have to say? Yeah, no. Don't care about you. Don't care about you. Um, don't care about you. And don't care about you. Alright, perfect. Well, there's literally nothing in here for me to do. I don't know why I came in here. That was useless. Alright, so um, you'll also notice that there's a lot of Team Rocket presence here in the city. That may become a pot point later. Dude, get out, get out of my way. Get out of my way. There's actually a one more item we I want to grab, but it's in one of these two houses that Team Rocket's guarding, so I can't get to it right now until I defeat the Team Rocket presence in this city. So yes, there is some Team Rocket presence that we're going to have to take care of, but we'll take care of that later. So thank you all very much for watching, guys. I'll see you all next time.